Well, good afternoon, guys, from Springfield, Missouri. Hope you're having a great day. So if you don't know it already, we are in the market for a vehicle to drive around the world, and we've kind of been crossing the country, checking out all the different options here in the United States. And I think we have saved the best for last for sure in the United States and maybe even the world. And here it is, Global expedition vehicles they have this brand new factory that they just moved into last month it pretty much is an entire city block guys it's beautiful inside this is like the ultimate dream garage for so many guys and gals so walking inside they uh, have their nice waiting room and lobby treasures from around the world pictures of their uh, customers travels an antique elevator well it's time to introduce you to Renee founder co-owner of global expedition vehicles and this is their massive new factory got a unit there that's gonna be delivered soon that's a uh, BAE military chassis. And here's the other half. Great to see you. How are you Good doing? Morning. You guys have so much here that you're just gonna be able to grow into. And is nice there a full basement? basement? Partial basement. Partial basement. Yeah. Wow. That's a cabinet shop here. It's like to all the it necessarily. Okay. That's the composite shop over there. Composite shop. Take a peek in there. This is where like the real bones and you get the true insulating factors, you know, for your bodies. Yeah, we, we have the ability to make our own panels. We have a CNC router that will take up to 45 foot sheets and cut the windows out the edges and them and, and make them where they fit together quickly and easily and, and tight. Yeah. Where they have the best sealant, you know, where everything's tight and close tolerances. Uh, so that there's no air gaps that kind of thing. Okay, so here's an amazing lineup of some of their uh, rigs that are already finished and customers rigs, but they're going to be nice enough to give us a tour of this beautiful orange Unimog, which goes by the name Perky Mog. So we have a little bit of a backstory with Perky Mog. They were in Alaska in 2015. That's where we live. We saw them at Deep Creek State Park and there was a crowd around their vehicle and I still wanted to go talk to them and check the vehicle out, but I also wanted to be very respectful. But now we're here, Springfield, Missouri, and we're gonna get a tour by the people that built it. So while they're getting Perky Mog ready to be shown, this is another one of their beautiful units. And this one's built on a BAE or LMTV, deuce and a half. They got many names, but the military chassis. And it's got that raising roof and it is a beast. I think this one actually is coming up for sale soon, guys. This one's built on a Ford F550 chassis. International right here. Over to the left, Unimog. It just, quality units, guys. I can't say enough about them. Okay, so Perky Mog is all set to be shown. Thank you very much, Renee. Hi, yeah. And tell us a little bit about the chassis first. So Perky Mog is a Pangea lifting roof model built on an 05 Mercedes Unimog. Probably the best, most capable expedition vehicle platform that there is. The body length is 17 feet. And what our Pangea lifting roof model is, is basically a standard one story um, living area that when the roof is lifted, gives us an elevated um, sleeping loft in the upstairs area. That way you're increasing the size of your vehicle um, by about 30 or 40% living space, but still keeping that footprint small. That is great. I really, really like also that it's uh, not gonna require def fluid or ultra low sulfur diesel, Mercedes, so truly something that can go around the world. Very world serviceable. 
Okay. Now the best part of this vehicle is the inside. It's very, very well done. It is very well appointed, customer choices, and they did a great job. Yes, I love the uh, Turkish colors. Yep, yep. Let's go take a All look. Right. It feels like a real home instead of a art can RV. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just small tires. <laughs> Travel stickers. And love power steps. Heading on in, guys. Oh yeah, we've already been in here once already, but this is a gorgeous expedition vehicle. Truly luxury travel in extreme environments. The Turkish tiles. And the blue. The a full length mirror. Yes, well, every, <laughs> every girl has to have that if you're gonna travel You wouldn't believe how many we've looked at that don't have a mirror oh, anywhere. No. Necessity, sorry. <laughs> So this bathroom space is small. It's what's called a wet bath, which means the toilet and sink is and shower is all in one space. So to conserve space, so we have more storage, we designed a tilt up, tilt up stainless steel sink that uh, flips down over the toilet. So you only have the sink down when you actually need to use Jeez. the sink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not taking up unwanted space the rest of the time. And then you have your storage over here. I like the European uh, towel bar. Hydronic, hydronic yes. heated towel bar to keep this space nice and toasty, also to help dry it out. Exactly. Because if you were showering with the roof down, the windows are not accessible from the outside. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're traveling the world, you're going to be in the Amazon or the jungle where humidity is going to be an issue and drying things out yeah. is of the it utmost importance. And then this is a cassette toilet? It is, that for cassette. Okay. So this is a very, very comfortable dining and also your couch for that matter and just complete comfort up here nice. total like and the fact that this roof raises up that adds so much more just space and makes it feel much larger yeah and then you have these three huge windows on the back that's one thing i've always really liked about this rig and with the roof popping up you essentially have your whole bedroom up here guys and this even opens up so you can get up on the roof and do some night photography. Just absolutely beautiful in here. Well, it's not a complete tour without checking out the storage capacity. And this has three big cabinets like this and then two drawers each down below. Wow. You wouldn't have to worry about room no for joke. your things in here. And that's a lot of times one of the things that you have to compromise on. Mm -hmm. But there are no compromises. There's pantry, clothing storage, an extra uh, little refrigerator. And then these, I just kind of learned about these a little bit ago, but these are 12 volt. They are. Uh, refrigerator and freezer, but the drawers, I just think that's like the greatest idea since like sliced bread. That's beautiful. Pass through. Let's see here. It's unlocked. Just pull the handle. Oh, just, ah, there we go. So you can bug out. Wow. That is quite the cabin. I think we need to go, uh, check out the inside of the Unimog part. Absolutely. This is another great feature. You have an additional counter space here that you just pull out and put up on top. And then you can even open the top window, close the bottom and be looking out over your view while you cut up vegetables. Hey, let me show them these windows. So in our videos uh, before you've heard about these windows that are just truly insulated and global expedition vehicles, these are their windows. They're called Armor Vision. And complete light blocking right here. They are uh, dual pane. There's a bug screen. Oops. And then 
they open like so and just the most amazing windows around and if you know anything about what is a weak link in a vehicle like this it's going to be the windows you don't want them to condensate leak air or let bugs in so coming around the side here there's an awning that pops out storage bays spare tires and a winch because these things are not light recovery equipment you know, storage one of my favorite things about GXB is the way they put the recovery equipment in obscure places that is easily accessible for you but not like in the way for you to live in the vehicle more of the back garage storage compartment Just truly a quality built unit. Ah, there's the cassette toilet. And looks like an extra one. That's a really well thought out feature, it's having a, an extra cassette. I agree. So here's something I just learned. They've added a deadbolt on the doors for security guys. So if you're in questionable parts of the world, just the idea with security is to make it as difficult as possible for someone to, you know, break in, but very well thought out idea. Let's see if I can climb in this beast one handed here. This is quite the cockpit guys. That's a plethora of switches. My goodness, I don't even know what all this stuff does. Very comfortable seats though. You have your crawl through. Wow. This is just the ultimate global expedition vehicle, guys. So now for the best part, this vehicle is for sale. Uh, it's for sale via second owner. Obviously, the Unimog portion is an 05, but the body is uh, first owner, and now it's waiting for you guys. Uh, do they have an asking price? Yeah, it's on our website, $560,000. How much water? What kind of fuel capacity? Sure. I think there are three tanks on this truck. I think around 150 gallons of fuel, mm -hmm. 125 in fresh water. It does have a full hydronic, Wabasto hydronic um, heat system, which also heats the, the water. Okay. Which we have grown to love. Yeah. Uh, we were in a sprinter van that had a hot water radiant floor, and that was the most even tempered Pleasant heat. pleasant heat that we Not have so ever dry. experienced yeah. well, and in an how RV. Easy is it to get up in the morning and you set your feet down and it's warm yeah, on sure. the floor? <laughs> exactly. So, quick question: I see the hydraulic lines. So, what do we have here? The stock auxiliary the hydraulic run, Yeah, the hydraulic lines for the winch, and then everything else is just an empty hydraulic port for other implements. for options. Okay, Correct. great so well thought out thank you very very much renee you for your time. time yeah make sure you uh go to global expedition vehicles uh, dot com correct well it's actually global x vehicles dot com okay well you know on the day that we're in you can just type it into google faster than you can almost type it. in an actual website so guys here it is perky mog the most beautiful expedition vehicle around if could be yours Ooh, mm -hmm. a little sneak peek mm -hmm. this is an electric heated floor oh okay because i was thinking those are rather small to no. have fluid yeah, that, that way this is a um, redundant heat system so should the hydronic system have a total failure then you have electric heat as a backup nice wow. very and well thought out she's carrying 1.4 kw 1.6 kw on the roof okay yeah, plenty of electricity. Two or three lithium batteries, so yeah, not an issue there. <laughs> well, and the new uh, modern heating systems are very 
efficient with their uh, energy consumption as well. Right, and the other thing too is once that tile floor gets warm, it stays warm for a long time. Yeah, exactly. All right guys, the sun's on its way down. We're heading back to Branson. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're on the hunt for something to drive around the world and who knows exactly what it's gonna be because those pages haven't been written in our uh, book of life yet. So all you can do is subscribe. We'll see you later.